Good morning, friends. It's good to connect up with you this morning. Just doing a uh, pre-recording uh, Tuesday uh, afternoon as we've got some work going on in the church. So uh, tomorrow morning, I'll be there praying. Yeah, never the Psalm uh, for today, Psalm 15, one of the Psalms. And uh, verse 1 stuck out for me. Tom, it says this, Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle, who may rest upon your holy hill. And uh, first thing to, to say is there's a sense in which uh, the psalmist is, is, is part of the, the group of pilgrims heading up to, uh, to worship God together. The dwelling and the resting is a is a temporary connecting in with God in God's dwelling place, uh, and that uh, there'll be uh, there'll be a time of refreshment and, and encouragement as they connect in. But but the, but the, there's a there's a question there as well. Um, who who may come and, and do that? Who may rest? Who may dwell? And uh, it just made me wonder whether we ever uh, think about that as we approach church. Uh, not that we, whether we, not that we would stand outside church, uh, banning certain people, but whether we reflect that for ourselves. Are we, are we worthy of coming before before God? Uh, and on this All Saints Day, we're focused in on on the the saints that have gone before us, those that have given their whole lives to. Um, to the to the pursuit of worship and, and prayer and uh, sharing the gospel with others and some uh, to, to the to the point of, of losing their life because of because of that work because of not denying Jesus Christ and so as we focus in on the saints and say well yeah they may well dwell and rest in God's presence uh, what about us? Well, we know God opens his arms wide to everyone who comes to him and offers uh, love and mercy, grace and forgiveness. And so we can answer that question with, yeah, we may come and dwell, we may come and rest. But I guess what follows on is, but, but what, what, what else? What, what's our response to that gracious gift of God, and um, how can we uh, how can we honour honour Him? Well, the rest of the psalm talks about that that li living a life for for God in in, in that way. It's worth uh, looking looking through it. Also, perhaps on this All Saints Day, reflecting on the various saints we know about and their challenges and the uh, uh, and the sacrifices that they uh, that they showed. But, but ultimately it all leads us to uh, to to Jesus uh, the one who made the ultimate sacrifice and enabled us to receive that grace and mercy I'm going to reflect a bit more about this on uh, on Sunday when we when we celebrate all Saints day uh, at church so I won't uh, chat chat on too much but uh, one thing I am encouraged by is Paul's letters. Uh, as each of the letters he writes to the different places that are that are certainly not uh, free from from problems and issues, mm. to places like Corinth and Colossae and uh, Philippi and, and Ephesus, in each one he writes to the saints, he writes to the members of the church as the saints, and there's something about us as as members of the Christian community wherever we are. Uh, or even this sort of online communal collection, uh, we are we are the saints. We are those who uh, are, are made holy by God, by His Holy Spirit in us, by uh, uh, us being clothed in in Christ and His righteousness, and and therefore that can be an encouragement and a help to us as we seek to to live lives for God and be those who who are the ones who may dwell and who may rest uh, but let's take that into to prayer now as i say I'll, I'll speak a bit more about this on sunday morning going to use uh going to use a well-known uh, hymn to, uh, to to lead us into prayer lord take our lives and let them be consecrated lord to thee take our moments and our days let them flow in ceaseless praise 
Take our hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take our feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take our voices and let them sing, always only for our King. Take our lips and let them be filled with messages from thee. Take our silver and our gold, not a mite would we withhold. Take our intellect and use every power as thou shalt choose. Take our will and make it thine. It shall be no longer ours. Take our hearts, they are your own. They shall be your royal throne. Take our love, our Lord, we pour at your feet its treasure store. Take ourselves and we will be ever only all for thee. Amen. Amen. See you soon. God bless.